Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. I got four questions today, so let's get started with EK Starlord. I'm going to change some of these words because I'm guessing that some of them were just typos. Would you like to see a remake of Star Wars Clone Commando as a sequel called Imperial Commandos and then a bunch of beautiful potatoes? Hell yeah, I would love to see an Imperial Commandos. That would be so cool seeing the Clone Commandos, but now serving the empire doing the empire's dirty work that would just be such a fun game in general even if they weren't like commandos to like work for the empire and like do the empire's dirty deeds like i just think that would be such a fun game but truth be told i've never actually played clone commandos i would definitely have to play it if there's ever going to be another game but if there's ever an imperial commandos that would just be such an awesome idea such a cool game i couldn't imagine how awesome that would be but i'm sure it would just be so cool Hey. Next question is from TG Collects ASA. Do you build mocks? No, I do not. I've only ever built one mock in my entire life, and it was the Imperial Potato Farm, which is just based off a real life potato farm, but then I put stormtroopers in it so I could call it Imperial. I'm still proud of it. I still have it to this day. I think it's a cool mock. That's like all I've ever done. I don't really do mocks because I have a few excuses, and they're really lame, but when you put them together, it's kind of like, well, I guess that's fair enough. The first reason is I don't have any Lego stores near me. If I want to get Lego pieces, I would have to order them online, like pick a brick and that could take like a month and if I forget something then that would be really bad and then so people could say well why don't you just take sets that you have apart and use those pieces but I don't like doing that when I build a Lego set I like to just you know keep it built I don't want to take it apart and use the pieces and then possibly lose them and then the third reason and this is probably the most logical reason is I'm just not very creative when it comes to designing and building my own Lego sets so it's just kind of like I don't know how to do that or want to long story short no I don't build mocks but it's possible someday I'll have an idea for another mock and maybe I'll do one, you know? I don't know. Next question is from Plorpus ASA. Who is the milkman? I don't know. I, I don't honestly know. Um, do people even still do that job? Like, I guess I'm kind of old for even knowing what a milkman is. But like a long time ago, people would have milkmen and they would bring them milk and stuff. So I'm like, is that even still a thing? Are there still milkmen out there? Do you know the milkman? Gosh, probably not. And our last question is from TG Collects again. And he says, ASA, what is your opinion on custom cloths for minifigures? Potato. I like how you put potato instead of actually just a potato. You put the word that that's clever. Honestly, though, when it comes to anything Lego, if it's not from Lego sealed in a Lego box marketed as Lego minifigures or stickers or cloths or blasters, helmets, anything, if it's not from Lego, I just I don't necessarily hate it or think it's like disgusting, but I don't like it and I don't touch it and I don't care to buy it. I only want Lego from Lego. If it's compatible with Lego, that's cool. I just personally don't like it and I don't want anything to do with it. Kind of a lame answer, I know, but hey. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your questions. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments. But until next time, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.